this is kind of a weird feeling. Hey guys, narrating a uh, Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. This one's fairly old. Really, really old. I have no idea what's going on, except for what I'm seeing on the screen right now. Um, I'm going to assume I go for Volt Switch, unless I predict something cool, like uh, Gastrodon, but I don't. So I'll have to switch out there, because I'm probably a choice set. I'm going to go into Ferrothorn. I can threaten it out. I can avoid Toxic, and then I could also like set up stuff, I'm sure. Like rocks or leaf seed or something. I'm gonna set up rocks. That's cool. It's a good play. <coughs> As a tornadoes, apparently. This is probably before the whole. Um, this is definitely before all that stuff. I go for um, gyro ball because I'm not really afraid of like brick break or hammer arm all that much. Um, I break his sub, and I'm pretty sure that one would predict a switch, but I don't. I go for a gyro ball. Gyro ball is okay though. It does a uh, a, a crit, which is always nice, and I can switch out and go into Ladius. I like Ladius. Um, she's my home girl. I'm not gonna take Hydro Pump all that well, but um, it's a Hydro Pump and it's raining. Also, I'm gonna assume that is a uh, offensive Politoed, especially because the crit did that much. If it were defensive, it would not have. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go for a recover here because I know the switch is coming. Um, Gastrodon's in there. I'm not going to be able to touch Gastrodon at all. Um, Ferrothorn is definitely going to be my counter check, 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 counter, counter guy. Um, he predicts that well because he knew his own Ferrothorn, I think. Um, now we're in a predicament where I can't do anything to his Ferrothorn. I'm sure he can still set up rocks or spikes or something. Um, I'm going to go into Sizer. Sizer? Sizer. Caesar. Um, probably gonna go for a U-turn here. I don't like that Hydreigon switch in. I thought that was silly. Um, but it gets just wrecked. Um, at that point, it might have been a, like a, I don't need this sort of thing. This is the only thing I want to take a U-turn sort of thing. Not really sure. But I can go into Rotom now, and Rotom could, uh, full switch out. Stupid truck, get out of here. Um, I don't, I can't, I can't go for Volt Switch because he's got that, and he's got a ground type, so I am really can't do anything there. Hydro Pump, um, <laughs> breaks the sub, Thunder, um, not only paralyzes me, but almost kills me. Um, and then I miss Hydro Pump as he Volt Switches. Really? Another car? Can't I just, like, have a comfortable room temperature with the window open and not have to worry about traffic outside my house? Like in the burbs, man. It's not like I've lived next to the freeway. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm not doing my narration under an overpass. Laptop and a homeless guy next to me named Charles. Charles, what do you think about this match? <laughs> Anyways, bullet punch is this stupid thing. Um, unnecessary criticism, unnecessary? Pretty sure. Um, this Politoed takes rocks damage. I already hear another car. I'm, oh, I'm so pissed. I'm going to go into Ferrothorn. It's going to be a pretty decent um, counter um, as long as he doesn't predict Focus Blast or predict it coming in and go for Focus Blast. Um, I may or may not have <laughs> Power Whip. If I do, I'm happy. If I don't, oh, he, that's a crit. And then I live. But I set up Spikes. Um, I don't think on this set I have it. That's my prediction here. I also probably didn't expect him to stay in. So, he stayed in, and Politoed is just being a beast. I love Politoed. Politoed's super cute. I'd like to see someone use Politoed without Drizzle. Just saying. Just saying, someone do it. I have Hidden Power Fire on this laddie, I'm pretty sure. Um, gonna have Dragon Pulse, and on the Switch he brings in Ferrothorn. And do, um, you know, that much. Which is irrelevant. You can see that it does that much. Now, if I'm, yeah, Hidden Power Fire, um, not gonna take it out, I'm sure, but it's gonna do a lot. Not, it didn't do that much at all. But really, I, if I had to guess, I don't have much on this team that wants to switch in. I have to worry about Power Whip, I have to worry about Gyro Ball, I have to worry about everything that it can do. Um, so, a safe switch in, there really isn't one, except for maybe Sizer, which I go into. 
Um, I can use her now. I can superpower. I'm probably most definitely banded. I'm sure of it. Because what's the point of Scyther if you're not banded? <sighs> he predicts the switch out, goes for Leech Seed, and Leech Seed is going to take my life away from me. Oh. Um, he switched out with a whole lot of health. I'm going to hope I will go for U-turn here. Uh, because that would be great. Yes, I do! How right, huzzah, and all those things. Um, Gastrodon, not very defensively bulky, so he must be def especially defensive. Um, that took away a lot. Bleh, took away a lot. Um, Trahion can come in. Trahion, he he gets close and he combats you with feet and hooves and his weird hairdo. I get that crit totally necessary. Um, and so I like Trahion. He's cool looking and he's like, man, I don't take no shits from no one, man. Um, now I switch out. I think I was double dancing. I wanted Gliscor, because Gliscor could take a Thunder. Um, and then I can get my Toxic Orb up. But I'd have to worry about HP Ice or Water or, you know, one or the other. Um, I think at this point it was just like a sack play. I just gotta do something here, man. Um, can't switch on the Thunder, you know. So I go into Sizer now. I have priority. I can bullet punch it. I can knock it out. A lot of sacrificing has to go on. That's how I play. I'm like, hey, I could go for the, you know, 5060, or I can go for the 10 really comfortably and win. Um, I'm gonna have to switch into Latias here. Probably a Leech Seed is coming, but I can't touch it with Pull Punch, and if I do, it's gonna hurt. So there's a lot going on here. I'm like, alright. I gotta like, kind of pivot around and get Terrakion in, because this is the only way I can take out a Ferrothorn is with Terrakion's close combat. Um, so I, I do it, I use Latias as like a pivot guy, and then I go to Terrakion. Um, he probably predicted that happening, and I have been suspicious of this Politoed being scarfed, so I'm absolutely going to switch out, go back into Latias. Um, and hopefully sponge a Hydro Pump. So Hydro Pump hits me. Um, it's doing, you know, enough where I have to be worried. But not enough. I think I can recover from it. So he's absolutely not, not scarfed. Because I outsped it. So it must be spexed. Which is a bit of a surprise because I would think it would be doing more. But hey, what do I know? I don't know shit about this game anymore, man. Um... But I will be able to, uh, like, Dragon Pulse things and stuff and guys. Um, at that point where I discovered that it was absolutely 100% 100% specs, Politoed, I think if I get Terrakion in, I can sweep with close combat, and no problem. So it's really not an issue at this point. I hidden power fire that uh, Ferrothorn. Because I feel the drive ball coming from a mile away, two miles away, three miles away, ten, twenty, one million miles away. I feel that coming from, like, the moon and back a hundred times coming. Because he and I both know I can't win without her. I can't come in and weaving. So, he's got to figure out a way how he can, um, not die. Um, I'm assuming those are his last two. I've not been keeping score really all that well at all. Um, may he still has Gastrodon too, I think. I don't know. But, um, eventually I'm going to win this war, I think, with Barrowthorn. Unless he crits me. Which, um, you know, he's getting close to doing. Um, I could recover stall and all that stuff, but really, HP Fire is just doing enough to, you know really keep me in this, but eventually I die from Leech Seed, and I can bring it to Rakion, and I think it's a pretty much a good game from there. I don't have to boost, I can just close combat things, that's how I like to play, I get close, uppercut, it's like Mike Tyson, man, if you let him get in the inside and uppercut the fuck out of your head, then it will, oh, I uppercut the fuck out of my laptop, then it's pretty much game over from there, it's like, man, Rocks and Spikes takes out Politoed, and that's a good game, that's how I win, Rocks and Spikes, my, um, so if you want to like this video, you can do that, or dislike it, 
I I encourage everyone to leave a comment because I love comments. Sorry for the hiatus. Um, just been like in a mood. Been in a mood lately, so I've not been doing anything internet related really. Um, however, however, you guys should definitely, definitely, definitely go check out my friend High and Fiber 21 on YouTube. Uh, where he kind of teaches me how to play League of Legends. I guarantee you the first six, at least six minutes are hilarious. Um, everything after that is very educational. Um, he basically just tells me what to do, and then I do it, and then people think I'm good. So, that's pretty cool. Um, definitely check that out. Um, he also houses the podcast that I'm in. So, that channel is like a must-subscribe for you guys. You really, if you want... All the fizz you can possibly handle, you have to subscribe to High and Fiber 21. I'll leave his link in the descriptive bar, and then you guys can check him out. You can check me out constantly. Um, if you guys are not subscribed to me on Facebook, you should. You should. I like talking to everybody on the Facebooks. I love. Um, I love the Facebook guys more than everyone else, and I'm not afraid to say it. If you're if you are not a friend of me on Facebook, I like you less than if you were. So get on that because it's important that I love you. Black screen.